What's going on YouTube? Josh from Colossus Fitness and today I'm going to show you how to do the seated hamstring curl. This is a fantastic exercise when done right. Maybe when you're doing it you're not feeling it. Let's go ahead and fix that right now. Okay so first things first usually there's three points of adjustment. There's your actual leg position, there's your bracing which is going to go against your quad to keep you locked in there and there's the back support. So the best place to start is with the back support here. So if you're super tall you're going to be all the way back. If you're super short you're going to be all the way forward. It gets a little technical, you are going to have to fiddle with it. For me, I'm generally about the 75-80% range and the farther way back. I'm about 6'1", 6'2", really long lanky legs. But this is indeed where I feel yeah. best. I'm going to go ahead and get a seat here. Now a big thing is important that your back right against the bench. You want to make sure you're right back. We're going to talk about the mistakes after, but this is a big part because this is what we're setting up from. Next up, you can see here, this is just about at my heels. I don't want it looking like this. I don't want it like this. I'm not gonna be able to do the motion right, so I'm gonna be right back, heels right under there. I'm gonna put this nice and tight where I have a little bit of wiggle, maybe put a hand under. No more, no less, because if it's too tight, you're gonna lose all your circulation. It's gonna be miserable. Now, the big thing here is you can put your hands up, put your hands on yourself, whatever you want. Use a weight that's appropriate. Start light, get the contraction add more weight later. I've already adjusted this, so I'm good to go. But you may have to fiddle with it. You may have to stand up, change it, do it right. It's gonna allow you to feel it more, and that is key. From here, you're gonna really wanna make sure you're curling down from the heel of your toe. One of your hamstrings, the back part of your leg, is actually called a bicep. So think how a bicep curls. It's the same motion with the hamstring. We're curling into ourselves towards our glutes, big squeeze coming up to extension, not locking up those knees, squeezing into those glutes, coming up. Don't just come down halfway, this is gonna get you nowhere. Big squeeze. Up. Locked in nice and tight, back's continuing to stay back. And this is it in a nutshell, you really just gonna have to play with it, get the right feel, and if you're not feeling it, here's three weak reasons why you may not be. Mistake number one is not actually contracting and just shooting the weight down, so it'll look like this. See, a lot of people do this, I feel nothing in my hamstring, I'm just using momentum. You need to curl from that hamstring. Imagine from that heel. Some people get more of a contraction by pointing their toes. Go ahead, try this experiment, and really just squeeze. Learn to make sure you're engaging that muscle, and stop before locking up your knees. Another common mistake, there's no need for it. Keep the muscle engaged, that's number one. Number two is back off the bench. From here, I can curl and I can cheat. I can bring my back forward, I can stay hunched, I can just swing down. This is going to completely screw up everything. It's going to change the point of resistance. This is a huge mistake. Do not do it. Number three, you guessed it, too much weight. When you're using too much weight, you're not going to be able to contract. You're just going to be forcing through the motion, not getting all the way down. You want to get to the bottom for a full range of motion, come up with control, lots of balance, and that is how you're going to get the most out of this exercise. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now you know how to do it. Get out there, play with it, take your time. You will get it. It's not too bad. It's a fantastic motion. Definitely incorporate it. Do all that good stuff. Like, subscribe, send it to 20 friends, show it to your dog, do all that good stuff. And if you're interested in coaching, first link down below. Let's get better results together. Peace out.